and, liter liter uh, and tens of millions of dollars are spent each year in supportive services and remediation for adults who do not have a high school degree. That's why my office is launching Graduation Matters Montana. It's modeled on the early successes of a similar initiative in Missoula. Graduation Matters Montana will promote schools, community, and business partnerships that inspire and support kids to stay in school. And we all know that solving deep-rooted challenges in society require more collaborative efforts. We know that complex problems require integrated, smart approaches. That is why we partner at OPI with many other groups that care about students, schools, and the economy. We have a partnership with the Department of Labor and their Jobs for Montana Graduates program. And that JMG program was just recognized by their national group as being the top one in the nation. Our state's newly formed Digital Academy is offering online courses as varied as Mandarin Chinese to oceanography, to students from Belfry to Browning, and from Libby to Lodgegrass. And so I really must commend Governor Schweitzer for consistently promoting online learning across the state so students can access these types of classes regardless of their school size. The Montana Digital Academy is offering 51 classes this semester, its opening semester, and will add more as time goes by. It's currently enrolled about all, uh, right around 1,500 students across this state already. And it's also gearing up to offer um, college credit as well so students can take those online college credits and leave school already prepared and ahead of the curve. We also have a partnership with the Office of Commissioner of Higher Education called Big Sky Pathways that identifies high skill, high wage, and high demand occupations, provides career planning tools, and helps students explore these emerging careers during high school. Their curriculum focuses on teamwork to solve problems, using technology to find solutions, and facilitating critical thinking. The great news about this partnership is that nearly half of our high school students are taking career and technical classes because of the type of collaboration we're able to do. We have a partnership with the Montana University System that focuses on strengthening science and math education programs so students, when those teachers step into the classroom, receive more effective, relevant, and rigorous courses. We're actually visiting next week with a national organization called the Partnership for 21st Century Skills that advocates for 21st century readiness for every student. They understand that we must fuse the three R's of education with the four C's, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. When Montana becomes a partner with this group, we will work to make sure our students can compete in a global economy that demands innovation. And if you share my belief that our economic future is directly tied to the quality education our workforce receives in our public schools, please join us as we engage students, parents, and community leaders in initiatives like Graduation Matters Montana. I ask you to work with us as we continue to demand excellence from our schools so they can prepare students to go to college or to enter the workforce. We want our students to know how to read, do a, um, quadratic equations, understand the scientific method, write an essay, give a speech, appreciate the arts, be healthy, understand their place in global society, grasp the foundational principles of our democracy, speak a language other than English, and manipulate technology. We all know in this room that the end result of a quality education defines our state's future and creates its economic well-being. We must remember the promises that public education holds for individuals, for communities, for our state, and for our country. Those of us in this room, our values, our mission, and our goals are not different. We need a good education system to have a good economic climate and successful businesses. We rely on each other to ensure a positive future for our state. And as I travel Montana, I meet many people and they span ages, ethnicities, income group, and political party. And not once have I met a parent who did not want their child to graduate and to have a better life economically and socially than they did. 
Not once have I met a teacher that did not want to take their responsibility seriously to provide a quality education to every student in their classroom. And I think that all of us in this room agree that we want a quality education system so each student reaches their full potential. And let's be clear about something. We, all working together, need to do everything possible to continuously improve the caliber of students graduating from our schools. And by convening this series of historic summits, Senator Baucus has created a defining moment in our state and in our nation. And we cannot squander this opportunity to connect CEOs and businesses with the work of schools. When we have strong schools, we will have a strong economy. We rely on public education to do a great many things. It is still the great equalizer. It is the last public endeavor that we have in America that is open to all. Public education proves that America is still the land of opportunity, that everyone can still achieve greatness and everyone can still live their dreams. Accomplishing a quality education for every student, however, requires unprecedented collaboration among all stakeholders. We are a system in which all the parts affect and depend on the others, and solutions to our challenges must be systemic solutions that include all of us working together. So together, businesses and schools, we will accomplish extraordinary things for every child in Montana. Thank you again for the time on your agenda, and let's all move forward together and create Montana solutions for Montana jobs. Thanks. Thank you. Warm, warm thank you to the superintendent. Okay.